do, do, do. Here we go. Nice little magic stream. Let's go to that. Just see if this is working. Why isn't that overlay working anymore? Maybe because I'm not in my first game yet. Maybe it, maybe it'll show up. Who knows? Um, anyway, list is feeling pretty good. I haven't cha made any changes for a while. Let's uh, maybe get that output stream. I maybe yeah no. This is the exact sixty I've registered for like three leagues, two leagues, two leagues in a row. But before that it was just two kind of giants, two mystical disputes. Oh, these are my other decks. I was like, oh, someone else is playing five colors there. What? But no, it's just me. Um, <clears throat> yeah, just on the back of a four one. My results are tracking at sixty eight percent currently so not too too bad i wouldn't say um but yeah i mean look we've got a good constructed rating considering we only ever play garbage um that sounds great love it love what it's doing it's basically making a turn to to fairy you can't really complain about that it beats so many decks turn two to fairy. If I play amulet, oh, okay. I think, huh? Is that a card I care about? I don't think it is right now. I have reach, so I think I think I'm gonna bounce the Urza Saga now, which is a bit early, but I can block here, and then I can portable hole later. Plus, I just want to try and find good cards, right? So, yeah, digging is good. Maybe I should have let that tick up to two, just played a portable hole, but it's just felt mana efficient. Okay. Probably gonna portable hole this. I'm not sure, but. Uh, hey man, how's it going? I don't know. I mean, Akbam Average is just such a beating that I think we just have to deal with Ozolith. Um, yeah. I wasn't even sure if I wanted to play this land. Like, if I draw a Cultivator, it's better to t sandbag the land. If I draw uh, Tameshi, it's better to have the land in play. But any cheater is going to go fetch to Meshi, so I guess you play it. Good, good to hear. There's the Ravager. Scales is a tough matchup. I don't think we beat Walking Ballista. Anto Kriv, hello. I'm definitely blocking. Like, if I want to move a load of stuff onto here, then, like, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Sack that. <clears throat> Get rid of the Ravager, make make a 3-3. Three, three. I'm, I'm, all, I'm all in on that. Right, one more turn to find something good. This will be a... Ooh. That's something good. In other words, it's a Tameshi. So let's just see what our opponent can do. We have the reach creatures, so that does help against like someone moving all in on, on an Ink Moth, for example. I think we should survive this turn and then we should win next, so. S seems good. I guess the, the, the main thing that could stop me. Scales is, uh, I, just, I just can't play it. It's just such a hard deck to play. It's just so much maths involved, and like, 
I'm someone who just thinks, ah, well, if I attack and they do the maths, that'll be better. <laughs> um, so if they have exactly walking blister here, I'm in big trouble. But if not, I'm not in trouble. I should be okay. I think I'm meant to block. I think I want them to sack stuff. So I'm just going to block, block. Because really, like, really, I want them tapped out. Uh, Grace is uh, fine, I think is the phrase I would use. <laughs> it made her turn two to fairy this game, which let me bounce on her as a saga. So, like, you know, that's pretty incredible. I've had some turn three wins because of this card. So, yeah, I, I would say... They're definitely, definitely fine, but not, um, but not something that you need to, they're not like a sacred cow, you know, like you can, you can side them out. So, cause we have this to fairy, it's just like super safe to just go for it. So, so this is us going for it. X is three. We need to find a payoff off of this trigger but we're gonna have a couple of cracks at it so if this doesn't find it i'll cycle and if the cycle doesn't find it i'll probably down tick the teferi but we found it so that's fine that's good so now we don't have to down tick teferi Um, and the opponent is dead. So yeah, this is just a clicking exercise now. So whilst I'm clicking, I'll see if I can talk and click, but a boy grazer is like a card that helps when racing, but is bad when grinding. Um, in general, it also blocks Vagavan, which I quite like. Um, but like in this particular matchup where I want to bring in a bunch of removal spells and try to slow the game down, um, which is what I'm going to try and do, um, I'm going to probably cut them. Spell pierce is a cut. Um, I might want that for walking blister, but I'm not sure. Um, I suppose Sentinel is probably worse than Grazer. So then... The question is whether I want this meddling mage. Um, I think I might. On the draw, I'm going to trim her to fairy. I think that card's better on the play. So, like, game three, if we have one, I'll probably bring this in and cut this, for example. So, yeah. I like mage. Like... There's only so many so many cards that could actually stop us, and like Teferi doesn't stop Walking Blister. So again, like if you look at this hand, so uh, Anto, it, um, a bit. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, there's only one card that I care about. So if there's only one card that I care about, and I name it, then there's no cards that I care about, right? So it might not be good. In general, but if I if I can beat their fair, their fair game, and only lose to their walking ballista hands, then then I one hundred percent want mage. It's it's something that I've like experienced playing decks like Kiki Card. You want mage if you can't beat it. If you can't beat walking ballista. Um, like I'm not saying it's good all the time. Like. And I certainly won't be chewing it up, but I think you can make an argument here for bouncing Saga or bouncing Ravager. And I'm going to bounce Saga because something. I'm not sure why. Um, thanks. I, I'm glad. I'm glad we agree. I am kind of like, I know, slightly ropey here in that 
I have to let the fairy die this time. Uh, face like a welding jar and kill my grazer. I'm really risking it on the ink moth. What do you think about the two steam and two arbor split? I love it. Like that was, but it is my, it is my thing. I came up with it. Um, so I'm going to like it more than most, I think. Um, but okay. So grazer, both of them enable a couple of turn three, a couple. There's like one turn three kill. It needs wargate. You need four to, to kill on turn three. You need four lands, Wargate plus Tameshi plus a payoff, right? And Steed gets you a land, and a Boa Grazer doesn't get you a land, but it puts one into play. Steed is better when you have to chump block. Um, let's take the example of like a, Ravager, uh, a Ragavan deck, for example. When I'm on the draw, the Grazer's going to be better because I can block Ragavan on turn one. When I'm on the play, the D is going to be better because it actually goes and finds that land out of my library. Um, certain matchups like this one, where it, it is a race, then I want to. Um, I probably want both. I just like the extra ways of potentially having a turn turn three kill. Yeah, but but, it, but that's quite a big deal, right? Because some of the games that you lose are because you don't have enough lands. And it finds you the lands, whereas Grazer kind of like shoehorns you down this route of you have to have the land um, for it to be any good. It's certainly a lot worse off the top as well. So, although in this exact scenario, not a huge difference between the two. Uh, obviously, we're in big trouble because of this needle. But also, Steve. You know, it chump blocks like big stuff pretty well. It can attack planeswalkers occasionally. Um, and the fact that it gives you an extra land can sometimes mean that you can you can kill. So I'm not I'm gonna take this, right? Because I'd quite like them to move in on the ink moth. They'd be psychotic to sack the needle so they're not gonna yeah maybe maybe i shouldn't have um almost definitely i wasn't really paying attention when i played my lands out if i'm honest i just played lands out um so now i need like another atawara a baziju wargate for pithing needle just hard cast a cultivator i guess Draw a card. Yeah, I think you're right. I probably should have just sandbagged it. Ooh. Ooh. What the fuck? Sorry, I try not to swear, but... What the hell? Well, I have an 11-11. I was insane. Um, so my fetches, I have four fetches and I only have two basics left in the deck. Um, have I got lethal next turn? I'm not sure that's true. Um, okay. What's the maths? So... If they sack, 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 that would be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think I can take it. I'll tell you what though, let's not, like, let's block and see if they move. They don't really want to move, do they? Uh, I just, I, I topped that to Cultivator and played it off my Lotus Bloom and it gave me four lands. I'm not sure I have lethal because I don't have... I'm going to have to call to get Knight of Autumn to destroy the Pithing Needle. So, and actually, I'm kind of in bad shape because I can't kill that Needle. That's because they've got Welding Jar. Although Skyclave exiles it, so I can. I could call for Skyclave, exile the, the Needle, then I could play it to Meshi and pick up Lotus Bloom, but I can't um actually kill it 
they have ghost quarter as well so like they've just moved all in but yeah i, I need to draw a threat to actually kill them oh wow that's one more basic card of the deck that's annoying So green, white, call, grab, sky, clave, white, white, blue, right, a white mana. I've got a temple garden left in the deck somewhere. Oh. Yeah, because I have the Ghost Quarter, I'm pretty good. So I Skyclave, and then I would have drawn nothing. So Skyclave, take out the Needle, play the Tameshi, pick up the Lotus Bloom, Fizzle. But I could then potentially play another Tameshi and draw another card, but still Fizzle. Um, then, like, smack in for 8 and 9 and Ghost Quarter the Ink Moth. But I don't think we were guaranteed to win there. Yeah, I wanted to force the Sack, I think. So yeah, I mean, I've I've really liked the the D and the Grazer split because they are better in different spots. And like, Tri Builder, like pre combo. So let's say it gets you an extra land, and whereas Grazer doesn't guarantee the extra land. If if you get the extra land out of Stee, you get to draw more cards. It's also like easier to block with some, you know, like against a Goyf, for example, that's a bit bigger. It's a nicer, a nicer way to block. Um, it does fudge the mana a little because I've had to add two more basics than I normally run. I've beaten Blood Moon because of Stee. So it's done work. But yeah, if you like, if you draw Stee mid-combo, you can just play it and it draws you a card. Just the one win. Right, so it was good for them to sack and I had the Ghost Quarter off the Cultivator, so yeah. Last scene playing Mono Green Tron. Well, this hand doesn't beat anything, never mind Green Tron. But I don't think we're good on the draw against Tron. Oh, yikes. Yeah, the good old fun of Spell Pierce. It's my go to move, if I'm honest. So, here, I guess I took Lotus Bloom and. Huh. Huh. You got Temple Guard at Esper Sentinel Island, Bazidu at Tronland. And then I can Wargate for X3. I think this is the. Ah. Uh, ciao. Yeah, I was eyeing it up. I was eyeing it up and I drew a land off the top, so whatever. I mean, I guess Bazigi takes out Relic, but that's not really what I had in mind when I kept this hand. Sad. But not too sad. But not too good. Uh... Do I... I think I just sandbag the Bazigi. I have to target this with it. I just have to take the chance that they just, like, have it. I kind of feel like they do have it, because... Otherwise, it, there's a good chance that they... You know, start cycling shit, instead of paying one to stop me drawing. They probably want to draw themselves, so... Maybe not. Until I know for definite that they have Tron, I'm going to definitely not use this procedure. Okay, they have Tron. And I target the tower here. The sad thing is... The sad thing is, by firing this off, I give them mana to use Relic. But not that I was going to combo this turn anyway, so I don't suppose that really matters. Ghost Quarter's sideboard, unfortunately. Otherwise, that's not a terrible line, but it's not necessarily a winning line. 
is all I'd say. It's a not losing line. I, I, I don't know. It's pretty close. Oops. Yeah. Uh, right. Let's go get a Lotus Bloom and let's hope they don't have... What am I hoping they don't have? Baby Khan. Um, do you know what? It's, I think it's... I did know the answer to this. Tron... I don't know. As a Tron is, is sounds good, right? There's a there's got to be a reason. I mean, we know they have power plant. Yeah. As long as they don't tap out, they, we can't win. We we have no outs here. Because they have Tron next turn, they have nine mana next turn. I mean, it doesn't mean we can't beat. It doesn't mean we can't beat just Khan, but actually, that does give us an out. If if we um, if we draw to Meshi off the top, followed by a Cultivator, then we could win. Now they're gonna sack it. Okay, well that still gives us some outs. Mostly, when I say some, I mean t uh, just a Tameshi into a Cultivator. But I'm glad they cracked that. Like, it's something I don't have to deal with anymore. You just playing a Thrag Tusk? Oh. A Worm Coil? A Walking Ballista. I'm going to stop guessing. I don't want them to have walking ballista. As long as we have outs, we'll keep... We'll, keep, we'll stay in it. I thought someone in chat would know. Uh, why are Tron lands called Tron? That's why I didn't know if the cards... Voltron is the. It's just because when they combine, they do something. I think. They have another relic. Well, that is a kick in the nads. My game up. No, I'm a match up. I'm a game down soon. That's smart. Because they'll tap the relic. Smart cookie. So now we have no outs again. Our maths is much harder, I find. Um, I think I just sandbag this to fairy. Uh, round one opponent was. I don't know. What was what was round one? I actually don't know. Ah, oh, hardened scales. Hardened scales. Which I they scooped early in game two. I don't think we were necessarily going to get there, but. I think there's always a bit of lag anyway. And luckily, I seem to be agreeing with you, so I can't be going too far wrong. I mean, if I bounce Relic, what's... Oh, yeah, I have the Bloom coming off. Oh, no. An O-Stone. So what... Well, this means is that they can okay so i can't i can't win i can make them reset the board if i draw 
a Tameshi. I don't see that happening. I mean, I don't see them. I don't see us winning if I reset the board, is what I mean by that. So I, I have to. Okay. But then they just hold up Relic. I don't think they crack. Maybe they do. They do not. Okay, uh, I'm going to scoop. I don't think I have any outs anymore. Uh, do you know what? No, I'm not. I have one or two, maybe. Maybe outs. Suppose if I bounce the relic and they don't crack it, I'm still no better off. I didn't draw what I needed anyway. It's the right way, isn't it? It's for them to pay three for their effects instead of one. Uh, I just think we, it gets worse. The more turns that it goes, it just gets worse. I mean, really, you haven't missed a turn. We're just getting smashed by Tron. Who are... No, I'm not on the Madman Magus, unfortunately. I just I just used the Ghost Quarter and some spell pierces. I know, probably being in Meddling Mage and Night of Autumn, but I don't love it. Khan. So do we have an out? I think the answer is no. Because the opponent does seem a decent player. No. Cannot exile that. And but like as soon as they as long as they hold up mana this turn I can't kill them. Hmm. I can draw a cultivator, but that wouldn't actually net me any cards. I'm just gonna like to fairy go. I don't need it. I'm not even going to sack the Chai Builder. I don't need the land. Huh. Has text. Yeah, it would only be X8. <laughs> On a quick count up. Oh, they have a Lumog, don't they? That's right. So I, I shouldn't be playing on. Because I, I definitely don't have any outs. I don't, I don't have outs. Stop. Just stop playing. <laughs> GG's opponent. Right. It's something along the lines of maybe, definitely. I keep the sky clay. I've got to drop the Teferis. I keep the sky clay for Baby Khan. I keep Portable Hole, probably. And maybe cut the cavern. Hull is decent. I think really it's like uh, I'm gonna cut. Um, I'm gonna cut grazers. Am I? Am I going to cut snakes? Yeah, that was a... Sh I mean, the reason I like the snake is because... The snake is speed. It's still speed. It's still... Both of these enable the same amount of turn threes. Uh, it's kind of challenging is because I can't beat blue-white and I want to try beat blue-white. Okay, look, we'll go with the snake, or uh, the beast. I'll go with the grazer, the sloth, because I don't really know why. I kind of want the extra land. That's the only thing. This, uh, 
six mana challenger is pretty uncastable for me, I think. Also, Carnage Tyrant. Uh, Carnage Tyrant. Okay, let me, let, let, I'm going to read that in a minute. But Carnage Tyrant is tutable off the damage call, which matters. I guess this is a keep, isn't it? <laughs> it's got the turn for Bloom plus Tameshi. Two red sources is fine, I guess. I could add a third to try and guarantee it. In the face of like spreading seas, each opponent gets an emblem. Uh Each opponent gets an element at the beginning of the show, keep deals one damage to them, to see damage to each non elemental creature. They can use the white, uh, the new. What's the card? The new white card. March of the otherworldly, blah, 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 blah. They could attack it. Yuck. It's one of the worst things in this deck. Oh, it doesn't? Okay. Oh, it doesn't look terrible. At the beginning of your keep, it deals one damage to you. It could take a while to kill him with that. It doesn't look terrible, but I, I, I'm not, not totally against it. Ooh, okay, I was going to cast um, Night of Autumn as a 4-3, but not anymore. Yeah, that's true, actually. Uh, I meant to just fire this off. We know they have a mine. If I meant to fire this off, I don't think I am. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. If they have pit needle already, for example, or relic, we know they have mine. So I'd rather tag. Like, they could even have dismember, like in the combo turn. There's loads of things that I care about. Like if this is relic, it's not. I'm just a. Unless it's something that I care about, I'm just not going to cast it. I guess I care about 8 mana. But I'm just going to play like they don't have that because they led on forest, so... Yeah. We need to draw can uh, Canish Tyrant. Um, Cultivate a Colossus. Yeah, but eventually this will... It will not hurt. That's the that's the only issue with this line is that eventually they'll just have whatever they need. Um like they have mana to be able to stop the the spell pierce, that's that's the point. But the fact that we were planning on comboing now, I think it just makes it right to just jam. Not guaranteed to get there here. Because we don't have that many lands, but I'm not going to start not going for it. That was a sentence, honest. Seven. Seven. We've got to, got to hit some lands and then another payoff. Need a payoff. Need a payoff. Need a payoff. Got a payoff. We've won. Phew. If we didn't, I could cycle with Trium, and then I could also, um, I could also play another Tameshi to reset the draw once per turn thing. So we we were fairly golden, but 
not completely, not completely safe. And we had the Bzigi to just try a Tron land, so like, we were mostly good, but we did, did want to draw to kill. Let's guess you blow up a land with a Bzigi. Yeah, so like, we had plenty of lines there to try and help us out if we missed. But anyway, we didn't miss, so that's good. And a hold on spell pierce, yeah. Tons of lines. Bjorn, thank you. Bjorn the Jesus. Yeah, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it. Right, here we go again. Guys quarter, nice. Cultivator, nice. I say nice, we just don't, we just want finale. Yeah, we got it. Tameshi, it was, it felt very Japanese did his pronunciation. It sort of potentially put mine to shame a little bit, but whatever. Tamishi? Tamishi, was it? You now we're winding up for a kill and I start winning out little darks for no reason. Badonk. How much is that? One shot. We uh we do it in the fewest clicks possible. GG opponent. Gotcha. One cultivator, please. Done. Smack you around the head. How much damage? 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90-ish damage. Timi, Tima, Timashi. Blech. Uh, Greys are definitely on the draw is better. You get one extra card in hand to find that land, and the extra turn is a bit more important for the, uh, the extra speed is slightly more important for these two cards. Uh, I'm not sure that's true on the play. I'm really, really not sure that's true on the play, but on the draw, definitely this way around. I could see a fairly strong argument for just cutting them for more, more ramp. In fact, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I don't think that's going to slow them enough. We don't, just for the record, we don't beat um, turn three Tron into Khan. We don't beat baby Khan either, very often. And certainly not with this hand. This has to go, unfortunately. I don't like Mulligan in with this deck. It's not particularly good at it. E.g. I mean, that's unlucky, right? I have 24 lands in my deck. Um, I mean, you know, the the look is uh, it's kind of disgusting, but I'm not going any lower than five. I just can't win on four. But I, I mean, this doesn't win very often, does it? Uh, this is good, though. I mean, this, whew, this is bad. <laughs> They'll be laughing their socks off over there, seeing my... Stupid Lotus Blooms when they have Khan in hand. They literally just have to make four land drops and they they essentially win this game. And they have their third one guaranteed, so... Ho, ho, ho. That's what I needed. I was going to say that I could try and finale it up, but it's almost impossible without... Oh, wow, okay. What a tough gig. Tough gig. I mean, we don't crack the fetch just because it's free, free for the relic. I'd loved a spell pierce. Would have loved one. Would have loved a white land more. Uh, well, any land. I wanted a land first, and then oh, they just have actual charm. We don't win here too often. Um. Because they can baby Khan and then Koi Ting and tap one, tap one of our lands. Tap one of our lands. I'll scoop to that play. If they, if that's the play they make, I'll scoop. If I eat a land with the big Khan, I'll scoop. If they give me an out, I won't. In fact, I won't even scoop. I won't scoop to big Khan eat a land. 
That's a lie. Because I'm going to then play... Okay. I will scoop to that. GG's opponent. Yeah. Ah, Lowenstein. I never do the land, so what's it going to matter? They had, I mean, they multi six, so it's not like they went really low, but multi six, have relic, have baby car, and have Tron is fairly strong, isn't it? I think that is worse than Carnage Tyrant, but I'm not sure it's by much. It's, um, I guess it's, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Harder to cast, slower to kill, but doesn't race a solitude. I don't know. I should just do a scryfall for something that says can't be counted. Legal in modern. Hurts people. <laughs> this was on my list. Um... It's got pocket blue and white. Can't be counted. Can get big. But it's a hell of a lot of mana to cast, so... It isn't great. You're only ever casting that off a uh, uh, Lotus Bloom. So we have... Carnage Tyrant. Shifting Ceratops. Is that... Um... We'll get to him. Dragon Lord Dracoma. Nah, I don't like that. Dice too easy. Shifted Ceratops. I think he's on a par with Thrun, if I remember correctly, but I don't remember it correctly. Let me try and find it. Ew. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Keep. Ah, oh, JH Killer. Damn, I faced him earlier, but on a different PC, so that's not actually useful. I can't go see what the matchup was. Shifty setups, can't count on Pock Blue. Yeah, I think it's worse than Thrun. Although Thrun is Thrun countable? No. I think Hexproof is better than Pock Blue. I definitely played this guy earlier. Oh, not today, I didn't. Okay. Spell. <laughs> oh, God. He kept, he kept five lands, Grazer, Bloom, so basically seven lands, and then top deck, a land. My own fault, though, like, I shouldn't really complain. Can't be counted. No. Can't be counted in Struts will tax each combat. So dice to solitude, so probably no. So I wonder what flavour of Den plus Ragavan they are. Ha, that's quite cool. I can just hard cast one of them next turn. I'd probably just sling both Ottawa's into play and draw draw some new cards, but weird that they haven't killed the Grazer to get in with the Ragavan, but I'm not complaining. So yeah, what have I got so far? I guess Throne is okay, but dies to Colonnade and the other big land. Pearl Lake Ancient, I remember being cool, so I'll read it in a minute. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're not dead next turn, but I should get some decent amount of card advantage. Especially if I... I mean, I have four Tomeshes, four Calls, two Finales, four Wargates, which are going to kill them. So I have two very lethally type cards. And I have... Say two. Uh, Tameshi, call, that's eight. 
Wargate 12 finale. 14 cards that just kill him on the spot. And then the cards I already have that... Uh, 14 cards that kill him on the spot, and then a land would be really good for making this cultivator a, a bit of a monster. So, like... I would I would assume this is enough to win me the game. There's Tameshi. I'm gonna play it. I could pick up the other one. And there's an old time is called. So yeah, I would I would assume that this is enough. Okay, so almost everything. Pretty bad against Blood Moon. Blood Moon plus plus destroy cultivator. They've got half of it, right? Guess what? I'm going to block that van. Because three levels petals are too good. Right. One blue land, please. Tameshi with spell pierce up. Beautiful. Good win. Yeah. Easy peasy. Um, do, 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 do. Float in the blue so that I have spell pierce one out, but I want to pick up Otawara because it's another protection spell. No. In the interest of saving time, would you like to scoop? You would not like to scoop. Understood. Let's click some buttons real quick. I can definitely afford to leave a land in play this combo turn because we have one enough lands and two enough threats because we've got a bunch of stuff in hand. This main deck spell pierce is being pretty useful just here and there. Like clearly better than a than a prismatic ending right then. Play some lands. Play more lands. Okay, well, we have to keep going because we haven't found um, Finale yet. But there's no way of fizzling. We've got um, Teferi can bounce Cultivator. We have Otawara can bounce Cultivator. Yeah, we did have it. So, nice. Um, right, I guess the red deck. I think we want Proc Red. I can't remember what they play. I mean, he gets Terminate and stuff. I don't really want Leyline. But against... I guess Thoughtseize, I, I do. So, I'm not really sure where I, where I sit there, really. Um, I kind of feel like Prismatic Ending is going to be good against... Oh, I don't want that. I know it had text there, but I, I don't want it. I, I want as few bad top decks as possible. So, like, the question is... If you're going to bring in Ley Lines, what are you going to cut? And I want Portable Hole and Prismatic Ending because I want to fight Douthy, Void Walkers. Uh, and I probably want to ferry for the same reason. And I want six one drops to block Ragavan. Seems pretty reasonable. So what? So the cut would be like this and this, and maybe one of these for three ley lines. Do we do it? I think we probably do. Yeah, let's do it. Ley line is worse on uh, Lotus Bloom is really bad on the draw. Because they can thought seize it away. If you keep a hand because it has Lotus Bloom and it gets 
this guarded. Ah, oh, gross. I think I'm keeping it. I'm not going to five. I refuse to go to five. I feel like tucking the other down his call so that they can't thought seize me effectively. But uh that's whatever. I want them to thought seize, I don't want them to Ragavan. Yeah. <laughs> Gross. We don't want to draw any more lands for the rest of the match. Let's crack on and see what happens, I guess. <laughs> That's going to do some damage. Disgusting. Just disgusting. I mean, I did keep six lands, but you don't really expect to draw two more. Oh, I should have been... This is Voidwalker. Yeah, that's very beatable. Really easy to beat is Voidwalker. Definitely what I was going to say, and not that it was really hard to beat. Uh, I'm not even going to crack this. But hey, terrible card. I am going to crack this. I don't know. Am I? Yeah, I am. Who knows? I'm going to crack this for basic planes, and then I've beaten Blood Moon. But they don't have Blood Moon, look. Here's another Voidwalker. I oh, know. It's the discard two at random. I randomly choose two lands, please. Because I have drawn one spell this game. It's turn five. I oh, know, I drew a lotus bloom. That's a spell. Huh. Pass. And pass. I've taken a risk here, but like, they didn't thought seize me on three or four. So I'm just hoping that that's making me slightly safe. There's a good chance they draw, they draw discard spell now though, right? But... One more turn to fade it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. We're going for it. We are going for it. If nothing else happens, we at least we draw a card. Uh do, 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 do. Uh, I don't want to cycle a land if this dies. Oh my god, have we got there? Surely not. Surely not. We've got there. Oh my god. Well, we're not quite there yet, are we? Three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We could just 12 now. So this would be 12 damage to chump. And then... I think I might just... Hmm. That's quite tricky. I could leave a land up. I could leave a mana up. That is rather tricky. Uh, I could leave a mana up. To, to try and go again, but it means my four jaws have to be pretty good. Actually, my jaws don't have to be that good, do they? We have a... We have a trial. So that's an extra draw as well. Now, I'm going to just kill off a cultivator and just try and find the last uh, finale at some point during this skirmish. Okay, that's not a bad draw. That's a perfect draw. We have got there, ladies and gents. Done. Can't believe that. 
It's crazy good. This one probably stays in play because we've got we've got to get through some chump blockers and so we'll keep a we could keep it in play especially when we've got um another cultivator back up and we've got the Ottawa that can bounce it back to hand so let's go not completely completely there but pretty much I cultivate is actually not a stunning draw because we've already got Aldami's call. Same thing for Wargate. But actually, it's all fairly irrelevant because we can we can make a ton of mana and then we can Ottawara and then we could Wargate up another Ottawara and then we could, you know, bounce those back to hand, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, it's uh, it's fairly irrelevant, I would say. Just careful not to overcommit. You know, like if it's the exact last card, like the last thing you want to do is play a Esper Sentinel. But what could they have, like that they haven't already played? Um, I think that's up to date. Should be. That link. Leave all the shock lands in place, which is only two. And that. We could draw cards forever, we have. And there's finale. Okay, let's just let's just stop. This is enough damage already, right? Fourteen. Oh, there's another there's another cultivator as well, so yeah. Plow for thirty sixty ninety. <laughs> Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Take that all day. Text doing its thing. So right, can't be counted stuff that we might like. Uh, league match started. Cancel that thought. Nah, can't cast anything. Yeah, I can cast things. So I want to go... I want to go... Uh, Ketra Trion. I do really like that Trion. I think it's better than... Uh, I think it's better than the Bant one when that comes out. Because it is a splash colour and because you can just get basic planes alongside it. Okay, we're up against... I think they might take an Ella Damry's call. I'm not sure. That's slightly... Showing white. Oh, there we go. Is that better? Yeah. Madly. Oh, there's a Tameshi. So now, when they fire off another discard spell, I just play the little Damry's Call and get another Tameshi. And then they put a Tameshi in the bin or a Tameshi in the bin. And then hopefully, I can kill him. I'm going to fire it off because... I wanna. Yeah, it looks like Shadow to me. They got Fet Shock, Fet, uh, Shock, Thoughtseize, Thoughtseize. Ah! Punished. 
Maybe I shouldn't have played the second Elder Diamond Scott. There's one less to my shim, I don't know. Anyhow, we have a threat. 11 turns. Let's go. Triple discard spell's pretty gross. Yeah, I guess I, I keep this dude back on defense. I don't really need it unless I draw a wall gate. There's a good chance they have counter spell with that, isn't it? I don't know. It's just blue black. Blue black would be really tough to beat. Pass the turn. Playing like we might draw a cultivator, that's what we're doing. Yep. Block. Sack. Ooh. Just down? No. Worse. What's a three mana play for them? Grab Lewis. Shouldn't be F6, just in case. What is the three mana play out of the blue black deck? Ooh, baby. 13 damage. We can beat him. Tameshi off the top, please. Tameshi. Tameshi off the top, please. This actually doesn't beat him, so I'm going to just... Slap another Lotus Bloom in there and pass. I was going to put a portable hole in there, but one, I don't want to show them it, and two, it doesn't actually beat them because it would have to not block with the Engineer, blah, 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 blah. So now I need any blocker to buy a turn. And I need that to have a chance of winning. Um... Just in case you have something I haven't thought of. Drown in the lock. Oh no, nothing. Well, sir. No removal spell, please. No removal spell. Please. Okay. Okay. <laughs> How about white, blue? Get back a lotus bloom. Return of planes. Play this, bounce this, cause pass. So I could take the seven, go to four. And I can beat that card because I have another copy in hand. And we know one of their cards is Death Shadow. Yeah. Oh, mama. There's a chance. There is a chance. So let's get whatever. We are, the reds are the least of useful because I have no red cards left in the deck. We've won. Sweet. I pass it. Yes, this is pretty sweet. I passed because we were very unlikely to win there because we were going to run out of mana. Uh, I 
think I just want the extra draw this time out rather than a cultivator in play. The cultivator is not that crucial like the second. It's worth noting I've only got one finale left in the deck. There's my cultivator, there's my lands. One, two, three. Wow, look at that. Well, I have infinite mana. Come on, deck, give me some spells. There's a cultivator with one. Done. Righty ho. Top deck of the century. We've had many in this game. The deck's pretty good at finding top, de top decks, though. Like, it was a finale, but a, a call or a wargate would have done the job. Um, I'm going to play out all my weenie dorks. I actually, I oh know, this is really funny, isn't it? I only have to connect with a creature because they're on so, such a low life total. So I now have enough creatures. So now I just need to keep going. Royal Teakin. Thank you for the follow. Sorry for mispronouncing the name. I just assume that with every name that I read. Um, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? We are popping off. And we need to find... It's actually like it's crazy how much redundancy we have now right so i can get lazy and not click through as much if i don't want to because um i can then use wargate to go find an uh otawara or wargate to go find to fairy and bounce the cultivator back so like the fact that we might miss doesn't actually matter in the slightest i said the name correctly beautiful Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. There's Wargate. That's not Finale. That's not Finale. That's not Finale. That's not Finale. That isn't. That isn't. <sighs> Let's keep going. Um, my wink on is Finale of Devastation. Wasn't in hand yet, but I would have been able to get that. Just like to let them know. Ah, it's the next card. Okay, so we did have it. Sweet. Oh my god. Um, okay. Okay. That. And that, please. No spell PS. No grazers. The, the, the like quantity of card matters. So the fact that we could be low on resources means that having having grazer that is card negative is worse than having tribal which is like card neutral. Um, what's the cut? Probably a call. Um, a Murtide deck, but I don't find Bog particularly good against them. I won this. This seems fine. Ley Lines and a Prismatic Ending. This seems pretty good. It sounds fine. Like, I don't have any. You know, we don't have the cavern, the ley line, the, the removal. We don't have the things that we want, but we have lands and spells. And I guess the deck with like, we saw three Thought Seasons and an Inquisition. So you can guarantee they're winning at least six main deck discard spells. So why mulligan to your best hands when they don't, they'll get picked apart anyway. Obviously not true with ley line, but I can't just mulligan to a, to a, a three of. It's just not feasible at all. And then, you know, I still have to win even after I've mulliganed. Um, anyhow, they're taking Goblin Engineers, kind of odd. Um, I mean, it's not, it probably means they've got 
a decent sized threat coming down. But the fact that we can... Uh, I'll go for Fetch Shock for Temple Garden here. But the, the fact that we can potentially turn for them... They'd have to play pretty poorly for me to turn for them, but yeah. A little bit scared of Unmod Ego, Necromancia. How many of them are we going to face? Two. Okay, well that's more than I would like to face. I'm going to have to fetch Shock, but then... Might have to fetch shock again. Because I think I'm going to go get a Skyclave operation. If they let me. I'm pretty sure this is the right move. Feels wrong. I'm also kind of out of tutorable answers if this goes wrong. But the point is, like, I shouldn't die here. So then I might be able to Wargate plus to Meshiel in the next turn. Not if they thought sees. Fail push is fine. It's essentially a two card combo. I'll go out to a four plus special equals two as well. Let's just wait to play like putter. The more I watch it, the more I like it. Yeah, it's it's a really sweet deck. I I genuinely think I've kind of got there with it. Not got there because like you could always improve and tweak and blah blah blah. But I do feel somewhat close. I mean, I don't suppose it really matters if they have a counter spell here. But if they if they have a counter spell. What would I rather have? So if they don't have a counter... Let's say they have a... I don't know. What could they have? It has to be drowning the lock, right? I was just wondering whether I should pay an extra one and go get portable hole. That was what I was actually working out there. So if I go for the combo and miss... Right, so that's countered... If they have a fetch land, a shock... Well, they can't have any more shocks. If they have a fetch land, I'm dead. If they have a street wave, I'm dead. If not, I need to fade another drown in the lock slash counter spell. No, they had a street wave. Okay, GG. Okay, I don't think there was anything wrong with how we sideboarded. It worked okay. It was just slightly unlucky. Like, they were down to one card uh, uh, the turn before. And I would argue, I would argue they topped at the Street Wraith because they would have just used it to get extra damage in with the Death Shadow otherwise. So I think we're pretty close there. Anyway, what I was saying was like, I feel like we've got fairly close with this deck list in general because, um, yeah, like my results are really pretty good, but also they're just, I go off gut quite a lot. And for a long time, this didn't feel good. But I felt it had potential and I couldn't seem to improve it and I was floundering around and really inconsistent and I was a bit lost with it at times but I was enjoying playing it so I carried on. Normally I would have given up actually, like with a win rate of 60% I would have probably given up a bit sooner. But then Mr. Rabe in our Discord, he had a nice suggestion, nice tweaks that he came up with which was the Grazers and the Teferis. And I decided I didn't want to run for Grazers because I've already been there and I tried the two Tri-Builders and ever since it's been like, okay, this list is actually okay. It's not it's not a bad deck. So they helped me move forward with the list. Um, I, look, they're just playing one, one drops and two drops, so I don't really know what I want to see here. I'd love them to tap out, but I mean, that's really wishful. Because they haven't, I guess I just sandbag this to fairy. Is that right? I have no follow up next turn, so I just don't play the to fairy. That is always the risk with stuff like this. If they have an instant speed spell that they want to play, they didn't. They didn't want Inquisition. Oh, I'm a little scared. There's a Death Shadow. That's fine. 
Deeply white. Um, so, right, we're going to play Lotus Bloom. Do they counter it? Probably not, right? They do not. So I have to fire off the prismatic ending, hope they counter it, then s slap the Teferi. But they know about the Teferi. So I'm going to fire off this. Five, six, seven, eight. Wow. So much mana. Uh, I'm going to pass. Blue and black is notoriously bad at dealing with a Lotus Bloom. Ugh. They probably take Teferi and then counter the finale of Devastation. I'm going to keep sandbagging till I can like do two things in a turn essentially so what i want to do is resolve is slam the teferi and then if they have the counter then slam no 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 and slam a tameshi is what i was going to say that is classic old school delving Love it. Okay, so this is the point where I have to jam this. Okay, that's fine-ish. <gasps> well, we did it. Undo, press the wrong button. Too excited. They can't respond. They can't respond. I have a fairy in play. Very sucks. I wish it didn't exist, but it's good for me, for my deck. I actually really dislike Teferi. I hate how it encourages non-magic. Oh, okay. That's good. For me. Uh, actually, he doesn't doesn't know that um, I drew the Tameshi off the Teferi trigger, so I didn't actually have lethal here, and I shouldn't have. I should have bounced the. I should have bounced the Tassiger so that I could have Skyclaved the thing. I played this terribly, actually, uh, but luckily it's not mattered because we're very lucky people. But this is very unlikely to fizzle. The, the fail rate is incredibly low. Like, way more than you would expect. Way less than you expect. What's the right way around? It doesn't fizzle. <laughs> Here we go. One fizzle coming up. There's our damage call. There's no more fizzling. No more fizzling. Uh, I don't have the finale, but I will get to it. I have call plus cultivator in hand. And Otto Wara to bounce Cultivator back. GG. I'll definitely get there. Okay, we're drawing... This is all still off that same Cultivator. And then I could replay to Fairy, bounce that Cultivator. Play this Cultivator for 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So I could draw 11 off the next... Well, 10 off the next Cultivator. Which would take us all the way to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Would take us all the way to here. By the way, we wouldn't have hit a land in those ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'd have the next cultivator, which would draw us another ten. Ah, then the game would crash. Then the game crashes. But anyway, drawing ten cards at a time should have, should be okay. <laughs> um.
Right, one game. Far one, far one, far one. Um, yeah, we're, we're going for the far one. Why won't we? Give it a right good go. Right, he's still playing there, that's sweet. Yeah, th so my win rate now is 68% before this. So I was on 17 wins, 18 losses with this version. Wow, I didn't bring in Carnage Tyrant against the Blue Black deck. That seems a mistake. If I'm not bringing it in against them, then like... Although no, I didn't bring in Spell Pierce either, did I? I was just going to ignore the counter magic and just deal with the threats. That's fine, I suppose. It's just hard control where I want the Spell Pierces and stuff. I've seen playing, is it control? And they want to know. But were they playing Is It Control or were they playing Ragavan? Who knows? Oh, it was Control. That is a Control deck. But it was 17 days ago. They're now playing a Bosch. Sweet. They have style at least. Not as much as us. This was not a keep, was it? Why did I click that button? This is risky. <laughs> we... We would have just died to... Ah, I was going to say, we would have just died to... Uh, Ragavan in, with this hand, but... Turns out they don't have Ragavan, it turns out we do have our... Our Boil Grazer, so this is a great keep. Great decision. No regrets. It's, it's always very risky to keep a hand that does doesn't impact the board for three turns. So like, the only stuff that actually impacts the board though is these nine. So it's, it's pretty hard to find them every time. But on the on the draw, I think you need them more. On the play, I think you can get away with it. Anyway, let's go get basic lands because look, they're very red. Let's go get our basics. And let's play it to fairy and let's just uptick it. And then maybe I should have gone for red land there, but um nah, we'll find a land. We need a red land to be able to call up a, a, a goblin engineer, that's the ideal situation. Go on, double bolt it. Bolt stomp, okay. again I guess uh, yeah we have drawn all five of our basics oh we fetched up three of them actually didn't we but what that means is secure tribe belt is now a dead card whenever bone crusher giant becomes a target of a spell that's not a spell He right. I'll damn his call. Engineer. So I was I was trying to work out whether I wanted to uptick or down tick this to fairy, but it's definitely up. Now that I have two blockers, because I want the bounce mode off it if I can, and obviously now I'm short of a cultivator, but I'm. I'm not in bad shape, am I? So this is okay. Goblin Engineer, Abur Grazer, they're both fine chump blockers. Don't care for that card. Go up to three this turn, which would make my Tameshu lines pretty poor. Uh, I'm going to sack the Engineer. There's no real need for it, and the Grazer. It's better against Stomp specifically. That's literally the only reason. Uh, it's a dead card. Yeah. 
Yikes. Um, my problem is that Blast Zone is going to pick this off, but I think I meant to just slam. I've got a couple of draws here, thanks to the Tameshi and the Teferi, so um, it's not the worst thing in the world. It's not good. I'm going to bounce this. No, I'm not. I'm just going to bounce nothing. Is that even true? I might be bouncing a Abbot or Grazer, actually. I'm going to bounce a Grazer. Oh, wow, is that even true? I think I'm bouncing Tameshi. Because I can still kill them if I draw what I need, and if not, I'd rather keep the Tameshi in hand. One, two, take three, plays Tameshi. One, activates. So we'd have three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Right. We got him. Whew. I felt a bit schizophrenic there. I was all over the place. I didn't know what I was doing. Try another card. Sweet. We should be there now. We should be fine. Like I say, I kind of ruined my secure chai builders, but that's sort of all right ish, I guess. We need a blue for the wall gate. We need white for everything else. I hope I haven't added this up wrong. I feel like five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough. Phew. We've played this turn pretty slow, but we really have a choice. So it's a seven, eight, nine. So it's so I do need to crack it. Ah, enjoy your F and M. Hope you get to play something sweet and win some games thanks for watching and all that kind of stuff much appreciated right let's put some lands into play draft okay that's cool i mean i'm not a drafter but that's cool done we have finale okay that's good I wasn't really paying attention there, I was just looking at chat. Look at this, Grazer Ritual. So, Grazer costs one to put a land into play, and then Tameshi costs one to activate to pick up the land again, so that is net one extra mana just for playing a grazer, so it's like a desperate ritual. And that's enough. Let's let's just let's just leave it there. We've got enough. It's quite that is one thing that Teferi does, it saves you a lot of clicks because you know you have lethal because they can't interact. So our, oh no, they can kill the grazers. Whew, that was, that was psycho risky. Although I would have drawn five and whatever else. Anyway, uh, we've been in Burnton Forge Tenders, probably the Night of Autumn, the Seal of Cleansing and the Prismatic Ending, but we'll just see about that. We cut the Spell Pierce, we cut the... Grazers, I think, against the Blood Moon deck. I think you could argue for Esper Sentinels being cut as well, but I'm going to play Ghost Quarter. I can always Ghost Quarter myself in a real desperate situation. And cut one to Fairy. I think that's okay. And then not bother with the Seal of Cleansing. I think that's the worst of the removal spells. Cutting Grazers kind of iffy. But... Good start. Three one up. Good start. Um, but yeah, um the list is feeling good, like it looks looks decent. I haven't used Carnage Tyrant all league. I've used everything else. But I'm only ever going to use it if I jump into one matchup, so. Uh, three white cards, zero white lands, it's a mull. 
This is fine. Just took the cultivator. Don't need it right now. There you go. Green, blue, white. This kind of sucks. Um... It's kind of crazy how often you keep like four lands, two spells, and just draw land land. But I guess that's completely random. I don't know. The shuffler seems a bit odd to me. I think everyone's seen like the Thought Seize bug and the Mulligan bug. That is kind of scary. Kind of just on the Wargate for Lotus Bloom Hardcaster Cultivator plan. Well, I just go for some big old scry. I guess it could give them a uh, channeler. Oh, I don't like pillage. I'm glad that's gone. So they've got up to three card types. Still on three card types. This is quite a fast hand. Oh, okay. They just wanted another land. Wow. Spyro. Soul Guide Lantern. How long do they have to cast these? Until the end of your next turn. So Soul Guide Lantern and Pillage are coming down. Yuck. Okay, well that means... That means I can't just play out um, Wargate. Because the Pillage will get me. So I'm going to just Teferi bounce one of these and then like let... Oh, you prick. Okay, that's annoying. I was going to fairy bounce, but I've tapped the wrong lands. That is very annoying. Anyway, mistakes happen. Let's go again. Ah, I hate it when that happens. So, I fetched for the basic forest because I was scared of Blood Moon. Not realising I didn't have the basic white to play the freaking spell I needed to play. So, there was logic to it, but it's just really bad logic. My screen's kind of off. So there we go. Um, good enough, I think, is the phrase. It's not good, but I th hope it's good enough. The fact that we can stop, like, all of that early stuff... Should hopefully mean that the Easter Fairies and Skyclaves do get cast eventually. And they all help. You know, the longer the game goes, the easier it is to find the pieces. So, the fact that you don't have them all right now is not the end of the world. The fact that they don't play anything on one means that I have a dead prismatic ending, basically. And now I'm back dead purple hole. I'm like a control deck. Not going to attack in case they dash a Ragavan. Um, I think Stomp gets around Burns and Forest Tender, so that's a nine. And we don't really want to crack this Misty Rainforest because Blood Moon is a thing and because we don't have any lands in our hand. It would be good if this fizzles out into a 3 2 on the back of the last game. Feels like I should be dealing with that, but then again. Right, if they answer my Brunt and Forge Tender with a stomp, then I can sack it and prevent the damage from Ragavan this turn. And then I still have portable help is back to ending. So like Oh gross. That is gonna wreck me. Hmm. 
Yeah, pretty screwed here. They just have to pillage, don't they? It's just so obvious that they have to play that spell. Um, they don't really know how we battle out of this. I mean, we're not dying, I suppose. Hot. That's a good pick. That is a good old pick. <sighs> Do I crack now? Probably not. Sandbagged. Lovely. Right. Let's go get... Green white. Basic white. And then let's just jump to Fairy to try and draw a card. It's just fine against to just draw a card. And now if they have Pillage, I'm annoyed, but like, we have to play through them at some point. Spyro's gonna ditch the Ragavan, at least. I think they probably have two Ragavans, yep. <laughs> So, what are my options? If we draw a land, I think the option is to kill them. Boo. Um, but I could just like pop a whole token and then prismatic ending another, and then the Teferi lives. I'm not really sure that that actually achieves a great deal in the long term. Maybe I just Skyclave a Spyro. Yeah, I don't hate that. No, I'm going to walk eight. I'm going to set up for next turn. I'm going to walk eight for Lotus Bloom. Because if they, if they can't deal with it, I win. And if they can deal with it, I win if I draw a land. Though, and I have been to Forest Tender to protect my Tameshi, so I'm, I'm going to let the Teferi die. That's just, that's fine. I can kill a token on the way. That's fine. Like, we're setting up. We're trying to win. Yeah. DRC, fine. Soul Guard Lion, not fine, but we have... Portable hole and prismatic ending, so yes, it's kind of fine. As things stand, we're going to win this game. I'm going to have to have a hell of a bunch of cards to beat me from here. They did top whatever is on top, obviously. Essentially, need. To be able to destroy this in response to me destroying this. That's what they need. If they don't have it, we win. If they do have it, we might be able to win. Blue, 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 blue. So this is a slightly better way of doing the exact same thing is to play a Tameshi with real mana so that there isn't a, a whilst this is on the stack they can't remove the Lotus Bloom from the bin with let's say a Surgical Extraction so this way we get to draw a card off the Tameshi every time and then when they oh, holy heat we sacrifice this, prevent the damage from this. No damage, please. Then 
thank you. Oh, I feel like we're getting a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Perfect. Can I just say eleven? So, yeah, slightly shy of. I mean, I we could still fizzle from here easily, but if we do. I'm gonna go call up a burnt and forged tender so that we we can we need to hit lands need to hit lands one more right four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen I think we're still fine I think we're still fine so we're gonna keep going. find a land because as we said we're a bit low on lands and then we're going to keep going and I think we're going to bin another cultivator which isn't great but sort of okay um, this cultivator yeah, we're going to bin another one. I want the extra card draw here. We still are at a very minor risk of fizzling, so... Ditch it. Like I say, we just, kind of, we just want to draw lands at this point. Lands worth more cards. We've only drawn one land off, two lands off, two cultivate triggers, three lands. It's not, it's not great, you know. These are like pretty much as bad as you can get for drawing, drawing off your cultivator. But anyway, I think this will be enough now. I can play a Skyclave operation and eat the Dragon Rage Channeler. And then I can just use Tameshi and Skyclave plus a, plus a cultivator from the bin to win this game. So this is enough mana now, I think. I know we could keep going for a little bit longer, play another cultivator, blah, 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 blah. But if they've got no jump blockers, it just makes life a bit easier. We have a Teferi that could bounce as well. So we've got, we've got tons of options, to be fair. But uh, yeah, far one. Added on to my 68% win rate should, should improve it slightly. that uh, finale for all the mana please done cultivator bang <laughs> one mana short of the full uh, making all the creatures lethal but anyway follow them pretty sweet let's do some calculator stuff so add 17 so we were 17 wins and out of 25 games so we're now 21 wins of 30 games 70% 70% win rate beautiful um I thought that I could say I mean the list just keeps performing very well the loss was to something different again <laughs> just keep losing to random stuff uh, i'm all going like crazy oh tron but i beat tron in the league before so i'm not overly concerned about tron we do have a winning record against it um the sideboard is fine the main deck is fine we are bad against blue white and we just haven't faced it in three leagues now so i don't know whether this Carnage Tyrant actually is going to improve that matchup or not. I assume the main deck spell piece helps a tiny bit, but often not enough, but yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, what else can I say? I mean, I haven't changed the list in three leagues, which is pretty unheard of for me. I always tweak something, but I always feel like I'm in the games that I lose. You know, against Tron, we 
we lost the dice roll, lost game one, and then beat them game two, and then game three we mulled into oblivion basically. Um, but also, you know, we don't have a ton of stuff. Don't have a ton of of uh, uh, of cards that can actually beat Tron. Um, but we are fairly consistent and fairly quick. We can beat Khan Liberated. We can beat. Oh, and they had they had Tim and Relic on the. They had, they drew two relics in game one against us, which is interestingly how I lost in one of Black Coffers as well. They had three relics in game one, and a baby Khan. So you know, like, yeah, some of my losses are just to main deck relic and baby Khan, but I could take that. And we even have outs to it, you know, prismatic ending, portable hole, skyclave. Spell Pierce to fairies. The list feels very good. I don't know about these Esper Sentinels, actually. They're not really doing anything at the minute. Um, yeah, not sure about them. But I, I also don't feel like I want more Grazers and more Tri Builders. There are games where Sentinel is good. Um, and they do work well with Spell Pierce. Against the spell heavy decks, where you card advantage matters, Esper Sentinel is decent. So, yeah, I think, um, all in all, pretty good stream. Hour 40, get four wins. Nice. Um, thanks for watching. A few follows tonight as well. Some Plenty of, plenty of comments from, from the fans, from the viewers. So I appreciate that, guys. And um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop there. One league is enough. Um, but I'll see you soon. All right, thanks for watching. Bye for now.